Hello, YouTube Pipe Community, OTC Piper. Uh, coming at you this morning with uh, another blend review. This is going to be Cornell and Deal, Old Joe Krantz. Okay. Uh, this is one that I picked up at uh, Tobacco Junction in Tyler, Texas, um, off their shelf for about nine bucks. Uh, in my opinion, a very good deal. It's a two ounce tin. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to smoke it today in my Eric Nording Mini Church Warden. Mostly because with a name like Old Jewel Krantz, you got to smoke it in a Warden. <laughs> Don't really have to, but uh, just kind of had it here and I thought that fit the uh, it fit the blend well in my opinion. Uh, this one I have previously uh, sampled one time, um, so I have less experience with, with this than some of the other ones that I have. Um, uh, reviewed for you. Um, I'm going to read off the tin here. Hand blended in the Carolinas. Dark and cube cut burly with red Virginia ribbon and perique. Create a smooth all day smoke. Another Ronowski creation named in honor of the man who taught Bob to smoke a pipe, his grandfather. And later on today, uh, you'll get to learn a little bit about my grandfather. I'm looking forward to that video great-grandfather actually uh, but let's get into this one uh, pull the tin open a little bit let's get a the tin note the tin note reminds me of a lot of the uh, McClellan blends that are getting harder and harder to come by since they've ceased their production The tin note, like many of you may know from uh, the McClellans, doesn't necessarily uh, define what the uh, flavor is going to be once it's lit. Uh, this one is uh, no exception to that. I'm not gonna, like I said uh, before my previous video, this is a stronger blend. I'm not gonna smoke an entire uh, pipe. I've got it uh, filled about halfway. I've got some other videos to do, and I'd like to be able to continue to sip on a pipe and, and not have uh, not have smoked too much uh, in a short amount of time uh, but it's a it's a loose cut mostly the ribbon um, kind of pull it up here for you so you can kind of see it's a great consistency a great cut uh, I see a lot of the ribbon and I see the little burlies are a little bit darker the Virginia's going to be a little bit lighter. And uh, this is, I say this, I, I, I say this now, um, not as prevalent on the Perique. Now, I've had Perique surprise me. Um, Perique blend surprise me, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, pack a bowl. Um, and it's far different than the, the last time. Sometimes it jumps right out at you, sometimes it sits there. Now it's quiet in the background. We'll see how it happens today. Now, the the other uh, time that I smoked this, I noticed it was very, um, very much in the background. Uh, but we're gonna do it, uh, do one today when I got more time to focus on exactly what I'm tasting without other things going on around me. It's about what I experienced the the last time. 
the Parika's there. And it's not still in the show. I'm getting a lot of the burly. I like a good burly. Kind of a good no nonsense uh, tobacco. A little strong on the retro hill. I think the Parique really comes alive on the retro hill. But the Virginia is not without its own voice in this. One thing that I do like about a, a, a Perique blend is that it, well, it has its own characteristic. It also helps to bring out and highlight the characteristics of other things it's blended with. It doesn't smoke too hot, and I mean, part of that's from the, the church warden, and I've got a, a pretty thick walled church warden as you can see that helps to cool it off a little bit but the last I don't remember exactly what pipe I smoked it in when I smoked the first bowl I do know I, I was um, at the camp in Tyler Texas at the time and I didn't have any church wardens with me at the time I know it wasn't church warden and even then I don't recall it being um, a hot smoke or anything like that. It's uh, spicy a little bit because it's pre. Definitely, it's definitely a bold one. I would, uh, if you're not accustomed to the stronger blends, I would recommend a little caution. Uh, pace yourself on it. Uh, have yourself something to eat. You know, before I end, something to drink. It's very relaxing. It's definitely an end of the day smoke. And I can tell you, I'd be buying some more of this. Uh, one thing that I wouldn't mind. If it did have, is a little dash of Latakia in this. I think that that would pair well with everything else that's in it. But on the other hand, uh, simpler can also be uh, something appreciated. I mean, simple, I mean, this has already got three different uh, types of tobacco in it. Sometimes you want to kick back with a simple blend. Sometimes you want a little complexity. I appreciate both. And if you monitor my channel regularly, you'll you'll know that I just now finished a blend review on the Dunhill Dark Flake. So I have had about half a bowl of that. It's about a half a bowl. And I can feel it. I can indeed. Pour me a little bit more coffee here. Makes good smoke. I'm talking a little bit and haven't had it diminish that or try to go out on me. Hmm. So, I would highly recommend this blend. Uh, I may, Cornell and Deal, they do a lot of bolt blends. Uh, this is the first time I've actually purchased Cornell and Deal in a tin. Uh, I will probably buy more of this 
in bulk. I uh, bought this because it was there and it was available. And uh, a lot of the, a lot of the good blends that I really like, I will start to order in bulk. Because you, in my opinion, you get a little bit more bang for your buck. Um, I think you know a lot of this is a couple dollars an ounce, so it would have been you know the same amount, about half the price. I guess you're not paying for the actual tin. Um, but it would be interesting to see how this would do uh, cellared. I'm going to continue to smoke on, on this tin, but I, I think what I'm going to do is uh, purchase some next order, purchase some of this, throw it in a mason jar, and uh, just see what happens in a few months. So I hope this has uh, been helpful. If you're considering this blend, um, I think you, you can't really go wrong with it. Until next time, OTC Piper wishing everybody well. Here's to good times and a warm pipe.